Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Well, it's a brand new year uh, for FLL, and this season is the 2017-2018 Hydrodynamics for the FLL season. Um, what I want to do in this video is like I've done, um, like I did last year, uh, be able to go through the missions with you, go over the points. I know there's other videos, but I just want to give it a personal touch and just show you exactly step by step what you need to do for the missions and you know more importantly what the points are so you and your team can make some really good decisions on what do you attempt what you might combine um, you know for the points so I'm gonna go through that in this video hope you guys enjoy it um, but let's go ahead and go to the board okay let's go okay for the pipe removal mission Notice here that there is a yellow pipe in here with the tubing. So if your robot can remove this pipe and put it in the base, that will be worth 20 points. Okay guys, this next mission is the flow mission. So what you do is you have this big water back here. I can't somehow get this big water to stay in here. I don't know about your guys' models, the setup for it but it leans a little too far back. Oh well. Um, so what happens is your robots will uh, turn the valve, which will cause this to tilt, and it will roll off. And what it's supposed to do is roll into the target of the other team's uh, board over there in that square. So this one's worth uh, 25 points if this big water lands in that target. All right, everybody, this next mission is the pump addition uh, mission. So what happens is your robot, and this pipe is right here on the mat, if your robot can connect these two together, that would be worth 20 points right there. Okay, for the flower mission, you will have three of these, what they call big waters in base. And what you'll need to do is your robot will need to put the big water into the model like this so the flower stands up. And that will be for 30 points. You also can, and you would get these uh, smaller rain from the uh, rain model. If you put a rain inside of the flower, that would be another 30 points right there. Okay, for this fountain mission, Another big water again. And one more time, you have uh, three of these in base. If your robot can put the big water in here and make the fountain go up, that is 20 points right there. Okay, the next mission is the manhole cover mission. And basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to flip this manhole cover over like that. And you get 15 points for each manhole cover that you flip over. And 15 points if you are partially in the circle, and you will get 30 points if they are flipped over completely inside the circle. Okay, the next mission is the rain mission. Um, this model uh, has you putting the rain in, and there should be eight of them of the small rain. The uh, model face east here, and your robot will somehow have to slide this lever so that at least one of the rain comes out. And that will be 20 points uh, if that one rain comes out. Okay, everybody, the next mission is the water well mission. And it starts off in base here. And if your robot can place the water well partially inside the circle over here by the garden boxes, that would be 15 points for partially in the circle. It would be 25 points for completely into the circle. Okay, everybody, this mission is the tripod mission. Uh, this tripod stays in base, and here's basically your goal. Um, if this tripod can be partially into the circle here, uh, that's target area are going to be the two circles with the manhole covers. That'll be worth 15 points for partially being in the circle. All three legs must be on the mat. And then 
20 points if the tripod can be completely inside the target circle with all three legs touching the mat. So remember again, your target circles are right there, the ones with the manhole covers. All right, everybody, this next mission is the water filter mission. So your robot will come here, push this in here, and then when that comes down and locks, that is worth 30 points right there. All right, everybody, the next mission is the pipe replacement mission. So what we earlier might have done was taken out this pipe and returned this to base, which would leave this uh, basically pipe broken. So for the pipe replacement, uh, we had the tubing on the yellow pipe, so might as well put it back onto the, this blue one here. So if your robot can replace the yellow pipe with this blue pipe, that would be worth 20 points right there. Okay, everybody, the next mission is the pipe construction mission. So this would be the second uh, light blue tubing you have in base here. So let's go to the north end of the table here. So this would be the target area. And if your robot can put that uh, blue, light blue uh, pipe partially into the target area, that would be worth 15 points. If it's completely into the target area, that would be worth 20 points. Okay, the next mission is the water treatment mission. So here's what happens when your robot uh, presses the toilet down. The big grain will come out and the sludge will release off here to the east. And that's gonna be worth 20 points. All right, everybody, the next mission is the sludge mission. The sludge that was released uh, through the water treatment mission would fall right here. So if your robot can put this sludge on any of the wood of the six garden boxes, that would be worth 30 points. So here, have one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So if it's touching that wood, that's worth 30 points. Okay, for the faucet mission, Notice how it starts off white. If your robot can turn the faucet clockwise, so that it turns mostly blue, you will get 25 points. Okay, this next mission they're calling the firehouse mission. So basically your goal is to get this fire truck here to come over, hit this yellow lever, and for the fire, go down. And that will be 25 points for that mission. All right, everybody, this next mission is a slingshot mission. It has a dirty and clean water inside of it, and the slingshot will start in base. So if your robot can put the slingshot into the target area right here, that'll be worth 20 points. And if your robot can release the dirty and clean water into the target area, that will be an additional 15 points. Okay, everybody, let's see if I can make sense of the water collection uh, mission here. And then we'll kind of look at the math and, and figure it all out. So remember, we have three big water in base. I picked this up, uh, assuming we would get this from the rain model over there. And then we have uh, that uh, big water that came out of the water treatment plant. And then I'm also going to count a possible big water that the other team from the other table uh, released into our target area. So for the big water, there's a total of possibly five. So one more time, three in base, one from the water treatment plant, and one possibly from the other team that dropped it into your target area. So from those big waters, that would be 10 points uh, per big water. So that possibly could be 50 points. And then you could get credit for one of the, the small rain from the uh, rain model. This would also be worth 10 points if this was in the target area. Um, keep in mind though that if you are using uh, this big water to put into the target area, then you're not going to be able to put this big water into the fountain here 
or into the flour. So I guess you you and your team are going to have to strategize on what do you use the big water for. And then lastly, if you can stack the water and have it be stacked into the target area, that's going to be 30 points right there. So somebody will have to check the ruling uh, on this. I was able to do this before. Now I don't, okay, there we go. I don't know what the ruling is on interlocking it like that, but they can lock. So that could be an interesting um, uh, development here is if the refs will let you lock it like this or not. But anyway, the total for the water collection could be 90 points. So let's break that down again. The 50 points from all the big waters, having it be 10 points apiece. Uh, could be another 10 if you put a small rain into that target area. And then 30 points if any of your big water are stacked. So there's the water collection mission. Let me know if I'm doing the math wrong on that one. Okay guys, so there it is. Those are the missions for the 2017 Hydrodynamics FLL uh, challenge board. Um, you and your team will have to, to figure out on strategize what do you try for in those two and a half minutes. Um, so it's up to you. Those are the missions that we have and um, I'm looking forward to this year trying to just do the best we can. Um, obviously the penalties are the same as, as in years before. You have six total penalties you can have for five points each. So they could possibly uh, penalize you 30 points and then after that you know you can uh, touch the robot as much as you want um, so penalty wise the rules are the same so this year I'm just expecting to do the best we can try to get you know as many missions successfully done as we can um, I want to wish you guys good luck this year um, it's all about learning having fun being a team um, obviously the, the core values for FLL so enjoy it and uh, have a great season um, if there's any issues on the points, let me know in the comments section. I'd love to fix something that doesn't seem correct. But anyway, have a good year. I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Take care.